Yo, yo, what's up? It's Jay Hamilton back again. Yo, this one here is about exporting tracks. You know, you made a beat in your MPC software or, you know, whatever. And you got it inside your software. You want to export it so you can further work on it inside your DAW, things like that. Say you made a beat. Now you want to track it out. I'm going to show you how I do it. I found this one beat. I got so many different beats, but just to save time, I pulled out this one beat. It's not really what I wanted to do, but it should get the point across. So with this one beat, I made the whole arrangement from one sequence. And how I did it was I have a lot of different instruments going on inside this beat. And what I use is I use track mutes. And, you know, that helps me arrange the beat. You know, sometimes if I make a song inside of the MPC and arrange it, you know, I, I may have different sequences that I slap together inside a song mode. And, uh, you know, I usually could do that, but sometimes, you know, it's, you know, it just depends on how I approach the beat. Sometimes I have different sequences. Sometimes I may just have one sequence and I have several ways to go about getting to a song so let me show you one i got this one beat right here and what you can do is i'm gonna show you how i made an arrangement out of it and then i'm gonna export it and show you how i do it so i got this one beat right here it's, uh, everything is on this one sequence right here so that's it it's just one sequence but i'm gonna arrange a whole song from this one sequence now Usually with song modes, you'll just take one sequence and a different another se sequence. You slap them together in song mode, and you can arrange it this way. But you can also use song song mode with one sequence, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. You go to song, song mode. Now I already have the sequence in here already. That's that one sequence I was telling you about. I made it repeat like ten times. And the reason I did that is to stretch it out because then I can really get into arranging it. Now, it's another way you can do it. You can actually double the sequence and you can do it that way to make the sequence longer. But just to save time and it, it makes it easier for me, I just go into song mode, take that one sequence, repeat it 10 times. And then what you want to do from there is you want to convert it. So you it'll say, OK, convert song to sequence put it on this unused sequence here and you know you don't have to change anything else to say do it bam once you do it you go look for the sequence and there it is and it's just that one sequence playing playing forever but this is where the fun really kicks in so now you want to arrange it so sometimes when i like to start my beats off I usually start them off maybe with nothing going on, maybe just the main melody of the track. I usually let that come in first, and then I bring in the drums and things like that as it goes on. So let me make a demonstration just to give you an idea of how I do it. Go into, you go into track mute. So what you want to do is go to track mute. I had a few things muted already, and you know, the problem with this, I never labeled none of these tracks. I should have labeled it to save me some time. So I, I need to figure out what's what here. So let me see. All right, so that's the main. So here, let's take it. Okay, so yeah, we found out what that is. Let's go here. This must be... Uh, let's see. Okay, so I usually start my beats off like this. You know, this could be the intro. So, and, and track mute, so what you do is you just hit record like you're about to record a sequence, but in track mute, it's actually gonna record your, uh, your you know, what you're doing with your pads, you know. So, I'll show you. All right, so here we go. So 
get it, right? So once you got it, you just play it. And you can arrange your songs like this. You know, it's like, uh, it's, it makes it easier. You got it all in the sequence. And the reason this is key, I'm gonna show you. So there you go. So that shows you how to pretty much arrange your songs for one sequence. Now let's get into export mode. So here we go. You want to go down to export. As audio mix down. That's what you want to choose. And this is the way I do it. There's other ways you can export tracks out of the MPC software. But the way I do it, just to make things simple for me, I use uh, export and then I say uh, as audio mix down. You click that. Once you're here, what, the, what you want to do here, once you're on this screen, you want to go down to explode tracks. Uh, leave it on wave. Um, I usually like bit def or 24 bit. It's up to you. I wouldn't go any higher than 24. And sample rate, you can leave it at 44.1 or you could do 48 kilohertz. It doesn't matter, but just, just uh, you know, a word to the wise, the higher the sample rate, the larger the file size is. So keep that in mind. It may be higher quality, but the file size is going to be really big and it's going to take up a lot of space on your hard drive. I would try to keep the sample rate at 44.1 kilohertz or 48 kilohertz is up to you i definitely hear a, a, a little better for me 48 kilohertz does sound a lot better and sometimes it's i think it sounds better than 88.2 but it's just my opinion but anyway so what you want to do is export so you can make a folder for it i usually like to make my own folders for my stems that I'm about to export all the tracks that I do. I usually make a folder just to keep things tidy. I usually have my own little export folder that I like to put stuff in because that's just how I like to do things. But you don't have to do that. It's, you can save it the way it wants to be saved. But just make sure that you put it all in its own folder. So uh, uh, why did I do that? Uh, go back here to find export and this is the way I do it I made my own folder for it you don't have to do this it's up to you so name of the track is exists I make a folder for it and then bam it'll start exporting each track and the arrangement that you made it'll have all that in those tracks so you wouldn't have to redo the arrangement once you get in your DAW or you can expand upon it even more in your DAW if you want. It's really up to you. Okay, now I'm up in uh, Logic right here. So what I want to do right here is I want to take those tracks that I exported out of the NPC. I got a export folder here, exists. So here's all the tracks that got exported from the NPC software. So I just select all of these and then I just drag them into Logic and yeah, use existing tracks, bam. Now all your tracks are inside your DAW. I think the tempo was 87. So yeah. Yeah, this is it. And uh, yeah, everything works out. We got everything tracked out. So yeah, it's uh, it's not showing the waves in here at the moment, but it's all there. Uh, So yeah, so yeah, everything, all my arrangements, the way I set it up are in there. So, so I'll step, separate it and uh, so there you have it. 
Then once you got it in your doll, you can mix it and um, take it from there. Um, I think that's about it. If you guys got any other questions, just hit me up. Feel free to subscribe to Sonic Boom Bap on YouTube. Give me some likes, comment, tell me what you think. If you got any more questions, hit me up.